So on this show, I always like to touch on some bumps in the road along the way, because I really do think hearing about someone that someone out there might admire overcoming one could help them. So for you, I was reading up about uh, Last of the Ninth and the idea of, you know, booking a big role on an HBO show and then it doesn't get picked up for the series order. So what did you do at that time in order to, I guess, not get bummed out by something like that and just keep your focus on forging forward? I was gutted. I was, and, and, you know, I, that was such a remarkable experience because working with David Milch to this day is something that I will always treasure. It was so amazing and sort of formative and life-changing to work with him. And it really was one of those, uh, one of, and I, it was one of those things, like as we were shooting it, there was never a, if this gets picked up or there was just like, it's HBO, it's David Milch, it's blah, 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 blah. like when we go to see, this is going to happen. And, and, and I hadn't, I don't know that I'd ever done a pilot. You may know better than me, but I don't think I'd ever done a pilot, honestly. I think that may have been my first pilot. Um, so I, it, it, it was, you know, I, I didn't have any kind of cynicism of, uh, well, there's a chance that this won't. I was just like, oh yes. And then this will happen and this will happen. And I, it was such an incredible part. I, you know, took place in the seventies and I played this plain clothes uh, narcotics officer based on on two real women sort of combined into one. And we were, I was running around with these uh, going undercover with Milch. And it was like an unbelievably great experience and Ray Winstone and it was amazing. And I, I loved the part and, and knowing where she was going to go was, so I remember I was on vacation and I couldn't really, afford, I was like, I remember like, oh, I'm going to, but when this show goes to series. And so we had taken this vacation, a different boyfriend at the time. And um, we were there and I remember getting David's phone call and he was apologizing and he sounded so heartbroken and so shocked. And, and I, there is no sort of, I was, uh, you know, I, I, of course you rally and you, but it was an absolute heartbreak and a real shock. And it unfortunately made me a bit more cynical about, um, you know, until anything is a sure thing, it's really not. And even now, even when I get a job and it's happening, it's really not until I'm driving to set on the first day that I drop my shoulders, you know, because, uh, you know, and, and trust that something isn't going to happen and the financing or the thing isn't going to fall apart. And then, uh, so it was probably a good lesson in that way, but it was a, it was a definitely, a, it was a hard one. And also because I just, uh, the, I, I never got to really play that part. I just got to play her for a second and I would have loved to play her. 